What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. How y'all doing? Before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen. And that's thank you guys for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan, somebody just started rocking with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving what I got going on my YouTube and you want to see more of me, easy money, man. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Temp Check. Check me out on Instagram, Mr. Check the Temperature. But before we get started with today's content, I got to remind y'all, make sure you're pulling up every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Temperature Check Tuesdays. I usually have my live interview. This upcoming Tuesday is no different. I got Fonz on the channel. That's right. Fonz, who will be making his gnome debut against JC. And we're going to talk about a, little, a lot of things. One of the things why I believe his battle may be one of the more underrated battles on that particular card. But we're not here for all that right now. Right now, we're here to talk about the ladies. Yes. Shout out to Queen of the Ring. Shout out to the OG Debo. Shout out to Bab. Shout out to Vay. Shout out to the team, man. I just got done uh, interviewing some great, great battlers that will be on the Panic Room 5 card. Um, Empress Stavia and A Busy. Shout out to both of those queens. They did their thing on the interview. They're going to do their thing on this battle coming up June 12th. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was a little surprised to see the URL and Queen of the Ring doing an event together right now. Because, you know, when outside looking in, outside looking in, it was looking a little choppy. Them waters was looking a little choppy. You know what I'm saying? And when you start to see uh battle rap events happening on the same day from different platforms that's never a good sign about where the relationship may be but obviously whatever it was it ain't that though and they worried about the business long as the business gets handled we could all make money and that's what it's about so heir to the throne just dropped a flyer shout out to queen of the ring shout out to the url KCJ versus 40 bars. Now, I just got done talking about ABZ and Prestavia. Some new queens. Let's talk about some, some ones that are a little bit more seasoned, a little bit, got a little bit more vet to them. So, KCJ, let's, let's talk about her first. Obviously, KCJ is probably one of the hottest battle rappers, period, but definitely one of the hottest women battle rappers out right now. Um, her 2021 run so far is impressive. She body twerk. No matter how you feel about the battle or not, she body twerk. She did that. She clearly beat prep. And she had a good showing with Geechee Gotti. So she's doing her thing. She's definitely making her noise for women of the year. At this particular time, she's definitely in my top five. She's definitely in my top three. But is she number one right now? That is the question. A lot of people would say so. A lot of people would say so. You know, Smack went out of his way to call her the face of women's battle rap. Smack said that. And once it's Smack approved, it's battle rap approved. But, you know, a lot of the women definitely had their opinions about um, what Smack was saying, giving her that stamp of approval, labeling her the flag bearer for women's battle rap. Now, ultimately, you know, she ended up bigging up everyone, every every queen, um, you know, every top tier is the face of women's battle rap. And I agree with that. I, I would agree with that. The talent pool is a lot smaller. So if you're able to stand out in those crowds because it's even more clustered than the men, you're definitely doing your thing. You're definitely doing your numbers. So I, I respect that. But 40 bars, you know, she's definitely not one to bite her tongue or hold her words for anyone or anybody for anything. She took offense to that. Flag bearer where? Women's battle rap ambassador where? The face of women's battle rap where? These are the questions that 40 Bars wants to know. So she said, 
set it up. Set it up now. And I'm not going to lie to you. I like this matchup, man. I like this matchup a lot. I definitely do. So this is what I'm thinking, though. Casey J is going to give you the punches. We gonna, she's going to give you the punches. She has she has that, that twerk bounce. You know what I'm saying? She's going to give you that energy. 40 bars, her schemes, her schemes and her setups. And, you know, like she can give you that aggressive, you know, that aggressive bark on you type. But we, Casey, Casey J off of her delivery and her just natural mannerisms on stage. You know what I'm saying? The barking, the barking edge, the believability edge goes to Casey. But when we're talking about the writing part and the pen, when you're talking about scheming and 40 bars has been sitting. 40 bars has been sitting a very long, what, since official? She's been sitting since official? That's a few months. And let's not let's not make no mistake. 40 bars was also in conversation for woman of the year. And we're about at this halfway point. So if you look halfway through the year, that's when that's when you start to see the people that that are really trying to win those um after end of the season of the year type of wars, watch them get a lot more active in this last six months. Because they know we can easily forget the battles that happened in January, but we won't forget the ones that happened in November and in December. Make no mistake about it. Why do you think Chilla's coming back right now? It all makes sense. So 40, 40 bars versus KCJ? I like that. I need that battle for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is... I don't want to, this is not a rookies versus bet, but this is definitely a new generation versus the older generation. I can say that. New wave versus old wave. This is the crossover versus the Euro step. This is what you're going to get here. This is the evolution of battle rap. What's going to prevail? I don't know, but I know I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this one, man. KCJ versus 40 bars. Come on, man. Women's battle rap. How could you not watch? But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who else could be on this card? So you know we've been hearing we've been hearing the coffee versus hustle. But I think that's a I really think that is a summer madness. But here's the thing though. Here's the thing. So obviously, we gotta we gotta think that Vixen is about to be on this card. There's no way that Vixen is gonna be sitting out another URL Queen of the Ring um type of matchup. No, I don't see that. So I absolutely see her being involved. On this car, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a, a us a, a old school collision course. This is an old school collision course. KCJ, you keep doing your numbers. Vixen, you keep doing your numbers. We'll see y'all on Summer Madness. But this is Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, Hitman came back. And most importantly, subscribe to the check page. And most importantly, subscribe to the page.